In the previous video, we created our main parcel and then we drew in the road and cul-de-sac. Now we're going to use the site calculator to take a look at the lot coverage that we can expect from this parcel. The site calculator only works with tracked objects. The main parcel is already a tracked object and we know that because if we click on it, the entire thing turns red because they're all connected. But if we click on the right-of-way lines, we can see that they are individual lines and arcs. We need these to be joined together as a tract. The easiest way to do that is to just trace over this with the tract command and make a new one. Now first I'm going to turn my tick marks on so that I can see the arcs a little better here. Then I'm going to start the tract command and then start tracing. When I get to a curve, I'll right click and select curve by points and then click somewhere on that curve and then at the end. And I'll continue to do this for the rest of the curves as well. And I'll right click and close it out. So now if I click on it, the entire thing is connected. So now we're ready for the site calculator. First, it needs to know the parcel that we wish to subdivide, and that would be our main parcel. And then it needs to know the parts that need to be excluded. In this case, we have only one, and that's the right of way. And finally, we need to tell it our desired lot size, which in this case is 3 tenths of an acre. The calculator gives us a wealth of information, but in particular, it tells us that given our desired lot size, we can fit just over 10 lots in our project. Now I'm going to change the lot count and tell it that I want to create 10 lots exactly. And it now tells me that to achieve this, each lot will be 13,238 square feet. And that works for me, so I'll close the site calculator and end this video. In the next video, we will actually create the lots for our subdivision.